Footy's Magic Garden. One sunny day, Sooty, Sweep and Sue were busy in the garden. Sue was picking a lettuce to eat for lunch. Sweep was mowing the lawn. And Sooty was hunting in the strawberry patch for some delicious, juicy strawberries. Suddenly, Sweep and Sue heard a shout. Look! cried Sooty. All our strawberries are being eaten by caterpillars. Sweep and Sue searched among the leaves. Sure enough, there were five big, hairy, green caterpillars munching away at the fruit. Caterpillars don't eat bones, do they? asked Sweep looking worried. I've buried some under the apple tree. It's all right. They won't eat your bones, giggles Sue. But once they finish the strawberries, they might start eating our lettuces and tomatoes. I've got an idea, squeaked Sweep. He went into the garden shed and came out with an old can of insect spray. This will stop them he said, aiming the spray at the caterpillars. No, Sooty protested. We don't use poisonous sprays in the garden. Why not? squeaked Sweep. Just one squirt won't hurt. Oh, yes, it will, said Sue. Anyway, we can't kill the caterpillars just because they like strawberries as much as we do. And that spray would poison the strawberries added Sooty, so we couldn't eat them. Sweep sighed. Oh! His ears drooped as he put the insect spray back in the shed. I know what to do, said Sooty. He went into the house and came back with his water pistol. I'll shoot them off the leaves with this, he cried. He aimed the gun at the caterpillars and sprayed them with a jet of water. The caterpillars didn't like it. They curled up into balls and rolled away. It works, laughed Sue in surprise. They won't eat any more strawberries now, said Sooty proudly. But a few minutes later, Sweep gave an angry squeak. Oh! the five hungry caterpillars were back, taking even bigger bites out of the strawberries. This is getting serious, said Sooty. I'll have to use magic to make them go away. Don't be silly, squeaked Sweep. Magic won't help. But Sooty wasn't listening. He took out his magic wand and waved it at the caterpillars. Halakazoo! Alakazam, caterpillars, scram, 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 he said. Sue and Sweep watched, but the caterpillars just kept eating. Perhaps they didn't hear you properly, Sue suggested. Sometimes magic takes a few minutes to work, Sooty explained. Wait and see. Humph, squeaked Sweep. Insect spray would be quicker. The next day, both Sue and Sweep were up early. Good morning, Sweep, said Sue. Where's Sooty? Still in bed, said Sweep. I'm going to see if his magic spell worked. Good idea. I'll come with you, said Sue. Sue and Sweep went down to the bottom of the garden 
and had a good look at the strawberry patch. The caterpillars were still there, and almost all the strawberries had gone. I knew that magic wouldn't work, squeak sweep. Sue smiled. Let's play a trick on Sooty. She ran back to the kitchen and returned with an empty marmalade jar. We can put the caterpillars in here with some leaves for them to eat and hide the jar in the shed, she said. When Sooty sees they've gone, he'll think his spell worked. Brilliant, squeak sweep, and he and Sue began to pick up the caterpillars. They just hidden the jar and were about to go back to the kitchen for breakfast when Sooty came out. He was very pleased when he saw the strawberry patch. Look, he said, magic is better than insect spray any time. Not a caterpillar in sight. It's amazing. It's amazing, said Sue and Sweep putting their hands over their mouths to stop themselves from giggling. <laughs> A few days later, the three friends were in the garden again. Sooty was in the shed, searching for the watering can. What's this? he asked, picking up the marmalade jar. Sue and Sweep looked at each other. We'll have to tell him what we did with the caterpillars, whispered Sweep. Well, you see, Sue began, but Sooty interrupted her. There's nothing in it except a few leaves and some funny little grey things. Perhaps Matthew left it here, said Sooty, and he put the jar back on the shelf. That's funny, squeaked Sweep when Sooty had gone. What happened to the caterpillars? There was no sign of them in the jar. Just five little grey pods nestling among the leaves. I don't know, said Sue, feeling very puzzled. She and Sweep searched the shed, but there wasn't a caterpillar to be seen. They've disappeared, said Sue sadly. Weeks went by. The days became hotter and hotter. But there was still no sign of the five hungry caterpillars. One day, Sooty, Sweep and Sue decided it would be fun to get out the paddling pool and fill it with water. I'll get the hose from the shed, squeaked Sweep. It's quicker than using buckets to fill the pool. He opened the shed door and out flew five beautiful butterflies. They fluttered round Sweep's head, showing off their wings. They must have got locked in the shed, squeaked Sweep, brushing a butterfly off his ear. <laughs> they tickle. Suddenly, Sue laughed. I know where they came from, she said. They used to be the caterpillars. But I made the caterpillars disappear with my magic spell said Sooty. Sue and Sweep began to giggle as they told him how they had caught the caterpillars and put them in the marmalade jar. I still don't understand, said Sooty. When I looked in the jar, there weren't any caterpillars in it, just five grey pods. That's right, said Sue. I read about it in one of Matthew's books. The book explained that the pod was called a chrysalis, and inside each chrysalis, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Now, that's magic, exclaimed Sooty. And the best thing, squeaked Sweep, 
is the butterflies don't eat strawberries. <laughs>